The transfer of energy from one form to another has been essential to the development of human civilizations, and materials for this purpose can be found in many applications. Piezoelectric materials, substances which generate an electrical charge from an applied mechanical stress, are lesser-known materials that nonetheless have been implemented in countless everyday devices. Since the discovery of the first piezoelectrics, these materials have advanced to serve countless purposes in our lives. As we continue to synthesize more piezoelectric materials and advance our knowledge of the material science behind the phenomenon, piezoelectric devices will improve areas of science and technology such as energy harvesting, sensors, electronic triggers, and therapeutics. The piezoelectric effect was first discovered by French physicists Pierre and Jacques Curie in 1880. The brothers were studying the crystal structures of materials and were aware of the pyroelectric effect, the generation of electricity as a result of an increase in temperature. Pierre and Jacques hypothesized that, due to the relationship between temperature and expansion for many materials, and applied pressure could also cause an electric charge to develop for certain crystals. They demonstrated this effect with crystals such as quartz and topaz, and implemented quartz in a piezoelectric electrometer that was instrumental in Pierre and Marie Curie's discovery of polonium and radium. In 1881, another French scientist named Gabriel Lippmann mathematically predicted the converse piezoelectric effect, the generation of internal strain from an applied voltage. That same year, the Curies demonstrated that this was true, and the piezoelectric effect could indeed work in both directions. Over the next few decades, numerous scientists studied the crystal structures of piezoelectric materials, which allowed for the creation of devices that implemented piezoelectric crystals. The first application of piezoelectrics in 1917 was as sonar for submarine detection. By incorporating piezoelectric crystals into transducers, high-frequency sound waves could be created to sense submarines. Throughout the next few decades, piezoelectric crystals and ceramics found widespread application in many technologies. The ultrasonic transducer was one of the most groundbreaking inventions that implemented piezoelectrics and allowed scientists to measure materials' properties significantly more accurately than before. Piezoelectrics were incorporated as filters in radios, as ignition triggers in electric lighters, and for ultrafine focusing of optical devices. Much of the research and application of piezoelectrics was done for military purposes, and military research in the United States and Soviet Union helped discover several novel classes of piezoelectric materials. Conventional piezoelectric crystals, such as quartz and potassium sodium tartrate, offer several benefits that make them effective in their applications. Piezoelectric crystals can be made into many shapes and are capable of producing small electric charges in response to physical signals, or vice versa. The electrical properties are the result of the lack of any centers of symmetry in piezoelectric crystal systems. Materials, such as metals or minerals, are often crystalline, meaning they are composed of repeating, specifically structured, unit blocks. While 12 of the 32 crystal systems have axes of symmetry or reflection planes, 20 crystal systems do not. These non-centrosymmetric crystals exhibit the piezoelectric effect. When a piezoelectric crystal is not stressed, the charges throughout are balanced, even though they aren't symmetrically arranged. When the crystal is stressed, the balance of charges is disrupted on the micro and macro scale throughout the crystal, and negative and positive charges develop on opposite sides of the crystal. If a circuit is connected to the piezoelectric element, current can flow when pressure is applied to the piezoelectric. Conversely, when the crystal is exposed to an electric field, the electric field causes the crystal to deform. The voltage across the crystal scales with the pressure applied to the crystal, and some crystals 
can develop voltages of thousands of volts across them. While quartz is a popular, cheap, and effective piezoelectric material, and the default for many devices, materials developed in the second half of the 20th century have shown to possess much better properties. Piezoceramics, such as lead zirconate titanate or barium titanate, are often perovskite structured materials containing oxides of transition metals, and are always ferroelectrics, meaning the structure of their crystals makes them electrically polarized. Below a certain temperature, known as the Curie temperature, the dipole moments are stable, while above the Curie temperature, the dipoles can be realigned by application of an electric field, making the bulk material piezoelectric. Piezoelectric ceramics, in addition to having higher piezoelectric constants than naturally occurring crystals, are also easier to alter during synthesis. By doping the ceramics, it's possible to alter important electrical and mechanical properties, such as the toughness or elasticity of the material. The grain structure of the ceramics can also be altered. By selectively making monocrystalline or polycrystalline bulk materials, both piezoelectric and mechanical properties of the ceramics can be altered to fit their specific requirements. More recently, Nanoscale structuring of certain materials has allowed for the incorporation of piezoceramics into microscale components. Piezoelectric polymers, currently the fastest growing class of piezoelectrics, offer several benefits over ceramic and crystal piezoelectrics. Piezoelectric polymers have strong inherent molecular dipoles due to aligned alternating electronegative and electropositive groups, with fluorine often serving as the electronegative group. When the polymer is exposed to pressure, the change in dipole density generates an electric field. Most conventionally available piezoelectric polymers are polyvinylidenes, such as PVDF or PVDC. These materials usually have lower piezoelectric coefficients than ceramics, but offer advantages such as low mechanical impedance. Naturally, different piezoelectric materials are best suited for different applications, and the various properties of each class of piezoelectric are important to consider. One of the most significant properties is the piezoelectric coefficient, as a higher electrical output for a given pressure, or vice versa, is favorable for many applications. Materials with the highest piezoelectric coefficients are typically lead-based perovskites and are generally being replaced due to the negative environmental impacts of lead. However, a large proportion of devices that use piezoelectrics do not require high piezoelectric constants, but rather low acoustic or mechanical impedance, such as resonators, which require high mechanical quality factors for well-defined oscillation frequencies. The shapes of piezoelectric elements also play a role in material selection, and piezoelectric polymers are being developed so quickly in part due to their malleability and low density. Polymers are also more impact resistant than ceramics and have low dielectric constants, which makes them very voltage sensitive. The variety of synthesis methods for polymeric piezoelectrics has made these materials much cheaper, and methods for combining several polymers or nanopatterning polymers have made them the material of choice for extensive applications. Despite their benefits, polymers have a crucial drawback, as their piezoelectric function degrades at a smaller range of temperatures than piezoceramics. Novel metal-based piezoelectrics that function at wider temperature ranges have also been developed for specialized applications. Piezoelectrics have found important implementations in countless devices that greatly simplify previously existing methods. By structuring piezoelectric crystals together along three axes, a piezoelectric component can sense pressure or acceleration in three dimensions, making it ideal for complex gyroscopes and accelerometers. Piezoelectric transformers, which implement acoustic coupling instead of the magnetic coupling of traditional transformers, have attained step-up ratios of over 1,000 to 1. In addition to existing applications, piezoelectrics have the potential to be incorporated into novel devices for biosensors, energy harvesting, and therapeutics. 
Due to quartz having a high mechanical quality factor, extremely small changes in mass can be detected with piezoelectric microbalances. These small changes in mass could, for example, be cells or small tissues, as only a few hundred thousand cells would be enough to cause measurable changes in resonant frequency. By comparison, typical cell cultures of many types have millions of cells. If novel materials with higher mechanical quality factors could replace quartz, even smaller masses could be accurately measured, opening the door to further advancement in cell biology. Biocompatible piezoelectric polymers have the potential to serve as scaffolds for tissue engineering, as the electrical and mechanical stimulation provided by the piezoelectrics can help cells and tissues such as neurons and muscle properly differentiate and grow into the scaffolds. Harvesting the energy from moving objects that often experience stress, such as shoes or parts in a factory, could be a way to power small devices to conserve electricity. Attempts have been made to integrate piezoelectric components into backpacks and shoes, with a demonstrated power output enough to power small devices such as phones. Piezoelectric polymers have been considered for applications in therapeutics, as they are more flexible than some alternatives, and are able to produce ultrasonic waves for ultrasound imaging, tissue surgery, and potential cancer treatment, all while being incorporated into small, thin devices or even into the body. Alternatively, piezoelectrics could be used for more precise and accurate robotic surgery assistance by incorporating piezoelectric elements into sensors that could relay pressure information to a computer and transform it into data on where the robotic arm is. Where mechanical precision is required, or where the transformation of electrical to mechanical energy plays a role, piezoelectric elements are often the defining feature of such innovations. Piezoelectrics have drastically transformed many aspects of science and technology, as well as our everyday lives, since their discovery. Piezoelectric components are found in countless applications that people interact with several times every day, and as more piezoelectric materials are created, piezoelectrics will see even greater implementation. Thank you for watching, and as always, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, check out more videos on the channel for other interesting topics, or subscribe to the channel for more educational documentaries.